In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can simplify radicals that have a polynomial inside them. As we do, we will remember that we can only pull factors out of a radical. This means if we have any adding or subtracting inside the radical, we don't have factors, but instead we have terms. And terms can't come out of a radical. This means we must find those factors that could come out by factoring first. So let's take a look at some examples where we have to factor first before we can pull things out of a radical. In this problem, it's very tempting to try and take the square root of the three parts separately. The square root of x squared is x, the square root of 16 is 4, leaving the root x, and the square root of 64 is 8. However, this is incorrect and cannot be done. Because of the adding and subtracting inside the radical, we cannot pull terms out only factors. So we will need to factor this polynomial that's under the square root. You might notice that this is a perfect square factor. It factors to x minus 8 squared. Or if you had factored it separately, x minus 8 times x minus 8, which can be written as x minus 8 squared. We can now divide the exponent by the index of 2 pulling 1x minus 8 out, leaving none behind. We have x minus 8 outside of the square root with nothing being left inside. Let's try one that has some leftovers inside the radical. This problem, again, we cannot start taking the square root of because of the subtraction in there. Instead, we will have to factor it. You may notice that we have a greatest common factor of 4x squared. Factoring out that greatest common factor leaves behind 25 minus 4x squared. At this point, we can factor the difference of squares farther if we want, though this step is not necessary because we won't be able to take the square root of the 5 minus 2x, 5 plus 2x. What's more interesting to us is we can take the square root of 4, that's 2, and the square root of x squared, which is just x. We have 2x outside the square root and left inside the square root is 25 minus 4x squared. Again, if you had factored the difference of squares, you would have the equivalent expression, 5 minus 2x times 5 plus 2x. And both of these answers would work for the correct answer on this problem. Again, the important thing with binomials and trinomials, or any type of polynomial, is if there is any adding or subtracting under the root, we cannot take the square roots of the parts. We must factor it and then take the square roots of those factors.